Our final step in just getting the system up and running and ready for programming is to open up your RS Logics or MicroLogics. If you can tell me how to make this screen open up like this, let me know. Okay, File, New, pick your PLC, look at the front screen on your PLC and you'll see it says MicroLogics and then uh, 1100. It's on the front of your screen, kind of up to the left of the escape button, just to the left of the the green screen. You'll see it if you look. And in particular we have the Series B. Highlight it and while you're here drop on down and make sure that you've selected the Ethernet driver that we set up in in Lynx. And say OK. We've now configured this software for a project for the Allen Bradley 1100 Series B PLC. If you're like me, the first thing I want to do is go online just to see if there's something in the PLC, maybe a good program. I won't have to work so hard. So go online. Save the changes. Now this is where you'll get in trouble. Untitled, you never saved this program, you didn't name it, you never saved this project configuration. If you click no, you're going to end up with a communications problem. And I'm, I'm going to pick no, so this is like troubleshooting for free. Pick no, and you are online. But we didn't save the old untitled. You're online. It's green. You are running. Uh, this is rotating, indicating that there's communications from the PC to the PLC. If we had a program down in this area, it would be executing right now. While we're here, let's look at channel configuration. First big hint, your online channel configuration is different than when we were offline. We're now online. It's different because I selected no. Now you probably missed that little point, but I'm going to say OK. And channel 1 is, channel 0 is the, uh, the other connector on the PLC. It's called RS-232. Channel 1 is the Ethernet connector. There's only two connectors on the PLC for communicating. Pick Channel 1 and you'll notice there's your MAC address, there's your IP address that you assign, and here's the subnet mask. Yay! That's what you want. If you see all this, that's, that's we're communicating and we can go online to that device, or in this case the PLC. So recall that when we're in the run mode, and it's rotating and running, we are seeing our MAC address and IP address. Okay, cancel this or just say OK. It doesn't matter. Cancel. Go back offline. Pick up channel configuration again. Open it. Let's look at channel 1. Remember, channel 0 is the other connector called RS-232. Channel 1 is the Ethernet. But look, your hardware address, no MAC address. IP address, no IP address, subnet, no subnet. Click OK or cancel, your choice. Try to go online again. Should have gone online now. Give it a couple of seconds. The first time we did that, we were able to go online. But there was a very sneaky, subtle little thing. It was called, we clicked on no when it said the configurations were different with your channel configuration. I don't know if you read that real careful. So anyway, we get an error message. Don't reboot your computer. What we've got here, remember, is no MAC address, no IP. So let's go under communications here. A little troubleshooting. This is a little beyond where we expect you to be able to do, but system communications. There we're bringing up sort of uh, RS links again, and we're going to go online a different way. We're back running. Let's go look at the channel configuration. It says there's a big tip off right here. Now you have to read these if you want to become a good subject matter expert PLC person. 
It says your channel configuration online is different than we were offline. We picked um, online, go offline, right through here. It says there's a difference. We'll say OK. Once again, look at channel 1. There's your MAC address. There's your IP. There's your subnet. This is when we're online. OK. Go offline. Look at your channel configuration. Nothing. So, what we need to do is save the configuration, the channel configuration, by downloading. Don't just go online. Download the configuration. Well, I changed things when I was fiddling around here online, offline. You get one chance in the beginning. And I said no when I should have said yes about saving the configuration. But we can recover. Go under communications, system comms. Do a download. Don't just go online now. Do a download. It says, hey, your things are not quite right here. Say, okay. Yes. And once again, it says your current node is one decimal. But the node that we selected is zero decimal. So these two don't match. Basically, it says, hey, would you like to fix these up here? That's what that means. Say yes. It says your processor has to be um, written to. That's what it did. It wrote this information. Go back to run mode. Yeah. Go online. Yeah. That's all good. Look at your channel config. Different. Channel config, there's my Mac. OK. I'm going to do a file. Save, even though it's untitled. Sure, save everything. Let's go offline. And let's try one more time to just go online. We're online. Let's go offline. We're offline. Let's go online. Very, very fast. And that's the speed you're looking for. Um, I don't know if you noticed what we did, but we fixed a typical problem of I thought we were communicating with the PLC and now it's not communicating with the PLC. So I'll view this video a couple of times and you'll have the hang of it. You'll know what to do to fix the problem and you'll be very happy with this PLC system.